afternoon y'all welcome to Monday so we have a fun video for y'all today we're gonna go back over the past two months January and February and show y'all our favorite dinner recipes but first I gotta tell y'all about this chocolate cake Woo! I got it Manny ready? I'm ready here it comes one two three oh you almost had it so we made this cake on Saturday night so that we could have it for Sunday. And Sunday, we actually just got something from Bojangles. So after church Sunday morning, we just stopped and got Bojangles and we had a lot of leftovers from that. But the cake was the dessert. And y'all, I was trying to do a copycat Pepperidge Farms cake. Y'all know the ones you get in the freezer? This is so close. The frosting, okay, so you know the Pepperidge Farms ones have a like a dark, not a dark chocolate, but a darker chocolate frosting. And then this light frosting is usually in the middle maybe drizzled a little bit on top or maybe the dark is drizzled on top anyway i copied the light colored frosting and it is identical i mean the frosting it tastes just like the frosting on those pepperidge farms cakes even if you get the white cake with the chocolate frosting it tastes just like it the cake is very very close i mean it's it's still really good i mean i think it tastes just like it but titus said it's really really close so catch again here oh oh i missed it all right now we're going back in time to our favorite dinners of january and february the last one will surprise you it surprised me so i think it'll surprise you all right y'all we are starting out with beef pot pies some of the kids have been loving the beef pot pies that you get from the freezer department at the grocery store so i thought i would try making homemade ones we make chicken pot pies all the time so just for a change, I was like, I'm gonna try some homemade beef pot pies. So I got a couple of steaks. I'm pretty sure these were sirloin. I don't remember 100%, but I'm gonna have all of these videos linked down below for y'all if y'all wanna go back and watch the whole video. I just pretty much seared the steaks on both sides and then removed them from the pan. So the butter's melted. I'm gonna put in one cup of all-purpose flour. Now we're gonna put in some beef broth. We need about four cups in here. So we're just gonna whisk this until the flour is blended in really good. I've got it a little over medium heat. We're gonna put in one cup of milk and one cup of half and half. Okay, now we're just gonna mix all of this together, get it smooth again. And I'm not putting potatoes in here because I'm actually gonna do baked potatoes on the side instead of putting potatoes in. All right, so once that started to thicken up, I added the steak back in and some frozen peas and carrots, got that all mixed up and then we were ready to start putting them in the pie plates. I just use refrigerated pie crust, but you could of course make homemade if you want to. So when I first made these beef pot pies, some people were like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this beef pot pie because we really love chicken pot pie. It's one of our favorite things. But after I made this, some people in the family were like, I like that better than chicken pot pie, or at least just as much. It is really, really good. And I did see some recipes that used ground beef instead of steak. I think that that would be pretty good, but we've never tried it, so I'm not I'm not sure, but it seems like to me it would be pretty good. So I just used the refrigerated pie crust, I think I already said that, and I put one on top, cut the little slits on top, and then these just go in the oven at 375 for about 40 to 50 minutes. And while they're in the oven, if the edges of the crust start to get too brown, you can just take a little bit of aluminum foil and put around the outside to keep them from getting burnt, you know, on the edges. And when they're out of the oven, I just rubbed a little butter on top. These were packed full. I mean, they were leaking out the side a little bit because they were just so full of the pot pie filling and still very warm. So when we cut into them, you know, you don't get a really pretty slice because they're still pretty hot, but we were ready to eat. So I made some sweet potatoes and some corn on the cob. You might see a lot of sweet. I can't remember how many sweet potatoes are in this video, but that's one thing I've been loving here lately is sweet potatoes. 
they're like my favorite thing right now and if you want to see the chicken pot pie here I am making some chicken ones I'll link that video down below and on the night we made these chicken pot pies we made a coconut cream pie and that I'm pretty sure was my favorite dessert over the past two months it was so good so I'll put this video down below that coconut cream pie would be a great Easter dessert so good that and that banana pudding we made the other day those two came in a tie for the favorite desserts but yeah, I think this one wins. It was so good. <laughs> All right, the next family favorite was the sweet red chili chicken wings. All right, everybody. Now, y'all, most of you know that what we normally do our chicken quarters and stuff is, you know, that Paula Dean rest, rest, recipe. <laughs> recipe. And, uh, but tonight, what we're gonna do is just take some of this sauce here, and we're gonna just not cook it down. We are gonna put just a little bit of lemon juice with that right there. Just about a quarter here. Squeeze it in, just like this. Just stir it around, just like that. And we're just gonna brush that on there from time to time. All right, so this was also the night we made the very finely chopped coleslaw. It was very good. We also had pizzas and stuff, so this was like gonna be the pizza night, and some people wanted some chicken wings to go with the pizza, and then people wanted fries to go with the chicken wings. It just kind of turned into a wings and things supper. We had the chicken wings and lots of other things. <laughs> Slaw, pizza, french fries, and barbecue bread, I think. Maybe there was something else. We'll see here in a minute at the end. But he cooked the chicken wings on the grill. And there's the sweet red chili sauces, the sweet baby rays. Yeah, sweet red chili. It was so good, y'all. He didn't put that on all of the wings because some of the kids, you know, he'd left some plain in case they didn't want the sauce on theirs. Um, but it's not extremely spicy. It's, it's really like a sweet and spicy type sauce. It was really, really good. The way I like to do this is I love to set them over on the rocking chair. <laughs> I can hold the tray. No, it wouldn't be the same. I okay. like to do it this way. <laughs> right here. This is very important you don't burn this right here. It's not something you can just really... All right. You didn't do right. <laughs> Three Mississippi, four Mississippi. <laughs> if you start going way over eight Mississippi, <laughs> It'll turn into that deal right there. <laughs> right there. Look at that. That's what happens if you go over eight Mississippi. You gotta get rid of that right there. That's just not even right. Okay, y'all, tonight we're gonna be making hamburger steaks. Look at you go. <laughs> Look at that. Come on with it. Bring them on. Check that out. Oh my goodness. Mama, bring Woo. them taters, baby. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm just like a machine right now. I'm unstoppable. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and spray this casserole dish. They're gonna take about an hour and a half almost. At least an hour and 15 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and get these in the oven first. Two scallop steaks, sweetheart. Well, we're gonna take. <laughs> We're gonna put. Can you give me a minute alone with the horse? He does good, but it's strange. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're talking about baby's day out. Can okay. I have a minute alone with the horse. <laughs> We're gonna put some salt and pepper. I'm gonna be using sharp cheddar cheese for this, so we're gonna go ahead and get this shredded up real quick too. Do I have a cheese shredding volunteer? All right, so while Tyler was shredding the cheese, I got the other stuff ready. We're mixing two cans of cheddar cheese soup, 
some milk half and half like I said I'm gonna have all these videos linked down below for y'all so you can go and get the exact recipe but these homemade cheesy potatoes they were so good they take a little while to make because you know you've got the fresh potatoes there so you have to you know get a little bit of a head start get them started before you make everything else but it's definitely worth it they were so so good Once I got the soup mixture all ready, we just start layering the potatoes, salt, pepper, and cheese until we get all of that in there. Then we just pour the soup mixture over the top and it goes in the oven covered for a little while. I think we baked it covered for 30 minutes and then you uncover it for the rest of the cook time. Alright, this next one, Philly cheesesteak subs and fries, is definitely a family favorite. I could make this once a week, I think, and they would never get tired of this. They love these Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. So I'm just making some Arby's curly fries to go with these. On this night, I just cooked those in the oven and then started getting the peppers and onions ready. This is also a really quick supper. Like, it doesn't take long to make this at all. So first, we just cook the peppers and the onions in the pan. I'm showing y'all the rolls that I'm using there the deli rolls and I used a brioche bun for mine and it was so good like do they have brioche style sub rolls they probably do if they do do that because I'm telling y'all it was so very good with that brioche bun anyway so we cook the peppers and the onions while they're cooking I'm just getting the steak ready so I had ribeye steaks for this really really thin cut ribeyes I ordered sirloin Walmart didn't have it so they substituted for the ribeye steaks so they were already really, really thin, and now I'm just slicing them up into strips, and I took the peppers and onions out of the pan, and then we just put the steak in there and cook it. It doesn't take long because it's already so, you know, thin. It just takes probably about seven or eight minutes. So right here, I'm adding some Kent Rollins seasoning. I snuck and did that. I didn't tell anybody, and Titus and Jacob and Tyler kept saying that these were the best Philly cheesesteaks that I'd ever made. Was it the Kent Rollins seasoning, or was it that it was ribeye steaks instead of sirloin? have been both. Okay, last one, taco casserole. I looked at a few recipes for a taco casserole and I was like, I don't have this, I don't have that. I'm just gonna make something up. So I got some inspiration from a few different recipes and just used what I had. So I just made some ground beef like I would be, you know, like if I was making taco meat. I cooked it, drained it, added some taco seasoning, a little bit of water, and then I just started layering it in a casserole dish. I put some of the ground beef, cut up some flour tortilla shells, and put those on top. And right about here is where I was like, what am I even doing? This is probably not gonna be good. I was having my own doubts. So I removed the ground beef from the skillet and I put in a block of cream cheese and so I'm just gonna melt that down and when it starts to melt I add in a can of tomatoes and diced green chili so it's pretty much like Rotel but it was the great value brand and I think I drained that just a little bit but anyway I mixed all of that together put it on the top and then I just continued with the layers I did the ground beef tortilla shells cream cheese mixture whatever you know until it was all gone and when I got to the top I needed a little something something so I put some shredded cheese on the top and then I just stuck it in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes pretty much just to melt that cheese on top and y'all it was so good this is my plate and I didn't get a lot because I was like I don't know if this is gonna be any good but we'll see uh, yes it was very good everybody kept going back and getting more and it was just one of those meals where you don't expect it to be good but it becomes a favorite the kids have actually asked if I would make that again so it was a winner See? what is that yeah, yeah? all right y'all that's gonna be it for today's video let us know in the comments what is your favorite thing that you have cooked 
the past couple of months or the past month. I just added them both together. Boots off? Okay.